Hello, this is a very serious conversation today. For those who did not understand my last blog reference, McDonald's and other hygiene food outlets, that is, outlets. So, I'm all for people making comments. Of course, no one, you know, I've no offence to that. It certainly doesn't offend me in any way, shape or form. But I do appreciate the, on I do appreciate the honesty and the concern. But I am not actually dogging one outlet i am actually dogging chicken i mean unless i'm going to say the name again unless mcdonald's is doing pizza bread indian kebabs shishis kufties and other kind of food and do the wimpy barbecue and burger king supreme then wow i didn't know mcdonald's did such wondrous selections i do use mcdonald's even though some some of the shops don't work some of them do same as with all the other outlets that's other companies so rather than thinking why am i attacking mcdonald's i only made one comment to mcdonald's of which I know what the reason is. I was in there when I heard and overheard what the comment was. But that's neither here nor there. They resolved it, it being rectified. Everyone's at me. We have an issue with a certain security member there, but I'm not going to make a comment on that until a later time if I need to. But I shouldn't think I will. Because, you know, it's a fair enough constabulary. And that's what I say. I don't say it's a bad constabulary. I wouldn't say I would never go there again because if that's how I felt, I would never go there again. But I do go there. I do go to not only that one, I go to the other branches as well. Later on in the year, though, I will emphasise to clear this out more. This is the McDee's retrieve, uh, reprieve, if you may. And this is also other outlets' reprieve to remind them that yes people are watching people are concerned that you are laxing on all these companies are laxing on doing the hygiene rules following them to the latter but each to each business to their own way their own approach there's not much i can say or do about that i'm mere just a person who does documentaries reports etc 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 i'm no person of any consequence but i do enjoy making and sharing my opinion i am but sharing just one opinion and one opinion was what i shared the first one the mcdonald's problem the mcdonald's camberwell if that's offensive then awfully sorry but that is what needed to be said at that particular day the second one weren't about mcdonald's so it's got nothing to do with mcdonald's anyway because it's about all food gene uh, food, hear me, food gene. <laughs> that sounds like a good name, actually. That's to do with all hygiene in all these outlets. Just simply go down to Westminster Bridge. If you want diarrhoea, go to the hot dog stands. I was going to do a song a year or more ago to do with diarrhoea, which we know where that is. And that is because a lot of these, like I said already, a lot of these, you go down and get a, uh, a hot dog. Yeah, I'll have a hot dog. And then you're stuck on the pan all night is because that person's either not got a license to sell that goods, certainly not on a hygiene license, 9 out of 10, well, nearly 10 out of 10, and goes somewhere to have a leak. Does he wash his hands or she wash her hands? Nope. So they're handling your hot dog, your bun, or whatever it is, walnuts and other things that you do tend to see with these little stalls, they will give you, guaranteed, a bad tum-tum. And then you'll say in the morning, why am I so ill? You ate a bloody hot dog from the hot dog stands. You know, most of these people, well, I'm not even going to say because I'm not doing a show on that sort of subject because... It's not my place to do that. I have an opinion, which I'm not going to be sharing anytime soon. But I will be sharing my opinion when I go 
on my tour of food outlets when I'm eating in these places. I won't say their names as such, but you will get a good idea where I am talking because, yeah, I'll be observing how people are cooking their food, how they are producing their food and also their way they are handling any given situation such as dispute with a customer, um, how they talk to that customer. Um, I will be touching this in a couple of shows through the later part of this year. The name hasn't been scheduled yet but I will be checking out a number of these places. McDee's was just the beginning. I will be going to Burger King, Wimpy's, Denny's. I will be going to a couple of the Indian restaurants around, not around just town, around other places. Only briefly, have a food there, have a dinner there and see what the take is and give you my take. Whether they are good, whether they're bad. Because I'm only being fair and honest with those out there who do view. You know, I'm not slagging them down because I want to, because I want to be heard, because I don't like them. I'm slagging them down because it's bringing our attention to how we should be moving forward with the hygiene regulations. You cannot ignore them because any business can be hit by something dodgy within the hygiene. If you've not washed your hands or someone's serving food that's had a cold or something else and they've gone in you know this happens in any industry and a person then will get ill or other people will get ill as a result of that then this is why I made this show and the last two shows it's to bring our awareness to the fact that people are indeed lapsing businesses are lapsing that's businesses not just one businesses are lapsing the approach to the hygiene regulations. I don't know, is the hygiene regulators lapsing themselves? I don't know. But, yes, there's been a number of issues over the years with other outlets, not only the big one that the main show was about um, recently, but the second show was not, and neither is this. This is just its reprieve and other companies to be aware that yes I'm going to be out there I am going to be viewing your foods and your customer care and how you do things and then I will be sharing this with the public whether it be good or bad that's up to you as an individual company I don't mean it in any bias way I'm just going to share my opinion and where things can be better improved or or not you know You can like it or lump it. You can like me or you can hate me. I don't say, oh, you've got to like me because this is the golden rule. No. All I'm saying is this is one opinion. And of which an opinion that I share with a number of people. So it's up to you how you interpret it. And we know in particular who I am commenting on. And that's no offence to you yourself. Though I have somehow offended you, it would appear. This one particular outlet I don't intend to make any approves of it but hey ho view or don't view but it's not a direct attack on you it's just an attack on nothing it's just an opinion an opinion that I'm sharing over here on YouTube as Mad Dog often does make large opinions news reports documentaries and many other things even silly crazy sketches Oh yes, that's my favourite part. But until then, or not, take care of yourself. Be lucky, be safe. But bear that in mind. I am not talking about one particular outlet. I am talking about all fast food. That's all fast food outlets. Okay, now take care. And understand it, if you can. And that's meant horribly or not. I don't mean it horribly, but that's how we will probably interpret it. Many people do. I am a very misunderstood person. Mind you, I'm a very mad person. But there you go. That's me. Till next time or not.
ja, dann die food poisoning or being poisoned on my journey of food investigations in the polite way. Take care now, be lucky, be safe, and have a good one. Bye!